Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post, and as we watch one of our lovely uh, 104 multiple units, I believe that's the mark, that's the model, or whatever term you use to describe what train is a train. We're outside, sorry, we're in Transport Fever 2. Hi. <laughs> this is Bristol. Well, it's not really, it's Frampton Cottrell. And as you can see, it's rather overflowing with passengers. Yeah, I didn't really expect this little local route, which is what we're watching at the moment. So if I bring the UI back. Yeah, here with this, the Parkway Acton, Iron Acton to whatever. Yeah, through <laughs> to Yate. Goes all the way up there, which is where we're sort of focused in the last episode. So we've only got relatively small trains on here at the moment. Actually, it's this one I want to watch. Uh, if I click on it properly, there you go. We follow you. Not too closely because you are quite loud. We will see. He's already full with 45 people. Is he going to actually pick anybody up out of these 300 odd here in Frampton? And I have a suspicion. Wow! Six people! Well, pick them up then. Put them on board. Of course, these are slow trains. Yeah, the, the other stations on this route also have a fair number of passengers, but all going in the one direction into Bristol Parkway. Going out to Yates doesn't appear to be quite as popular as this train here demonstrates. So it took 20 out, which is fine. So what I think, one of the things we're going to do in this episode is a fair amount of replacement and just checking through some areas of the map which I've not looked at for a while because if you've been with me for the last few episodes you may have noticed I have been focusing a lot on these uh, outer areas of Bristol and there's a lot more of the map to that <laughs> beyond there's even we have even got Wales yes all the way out there to Newport which I haven't looked at in ages so we're going to stop this for a moment we have moved on about three years since you were last with me and we've had uh, a good couple of very profitable years because I've not been spending it on buying new equipment. So, as you can see here, 30 and a half million, 29, nearly 30 million again last year. Already this year, we're in March, we're over a million dollars in profit. That's all rather nice. Uh, this year probably is going to end up being different because I'm going to be spending a lot. And I think we will start with this route here. Uh, so... We do have an alternative to these trains. Uh, if I bring that line back up, actually. And one of these trains, you are a 104 variant 01. You're the green. We'll keep the green, I think. If I go back to where you are. There you go. We will replace you with... Uh, could we... Ooh, we could re well, what's the difference between this... Oh, I'm going to have to make this bigger, aren't I? Because there's too many variants. You can't see all the good stuff at the top. Oh, <laughs> there aren't quite so many 110s. But your capacity is much the same, to be honest. You are a lot more powerful, though. Yes, you certainly are. Mm. No, we're going to stick with the 104s. We're going to stick with the green colour. I'm not quite sure why I picked it last time, but I did, so I'm stuck with it. So this is variation four, is it? We'll go for the four car, which gives me a capacity of 58. It probably still isn't going to be enough, but that's okay. We, we, we'll deal with that. So that's going to cost me 58. Uh, four and a half million, I can afford that. We are actually at the moment... I think I've only got 20 million in loan, so that should be fine. Right, now, which trays we got going in which direction? Can we find any that will pick people up? No, obviously not. Where's the other train on this route? Oh, there you are. Where, you're, where are you going? You're going up to Yate. How many people do we have at Yate? Again, load of people going to are uh, waiting for the express service the bristol midland line which goes directly from there to bristol parkway i mean bristol parkway as i had planned it as it is in real life is a bit of a hub so that's hardly surprising 
Anyway, we're, that's, we're going to stop there looking at Bristol Parkway and the surrounds of Bristol, sort of in particular. So I want to have another check at some, some of my oldest vehicles and get these changed out. I mean, <laughs> I have got trucks and buses which are over, over 50 years old and I've not been using the maintenance options on them. So they're all having a deleterious, a negative effect on the environments in those towns and cities. So which will obviously be limiting our growth. Now, one thing I will mention before we get into doing those is while you were away, I changed our ships, which I think were the oldest vehicles in my fleet on this uh, wood line, creating the tools to these wonderful ferry barges. They are wonderful, aren't they? Uh, Just Roscoe, uh, another fun YouTuber. I recommend go check out his channel. He does a, a obviously he obviously does another Transport Fever Two series, and he deployed these in a recent episode. And I thought they look so cool. And I can use them on this map. They're not terribly fast. They're they're not that much more capacious than the old vehicles, but they just look good, and they're a lot newer. Anyway, let's get on with our vehicle replacements. What have we got here? We've got the Thornbury local line. What are we looking at here? We have got these trucks. If we manage the vehicles, if I call one of you up. So you're carrying seven. And we have a reasonable amount of trade going on here. The line itself is moderately profitable. Oh, actually, in terms of the cost, it's very profitable. Yes, that's fine. Um, but I think, oh, look, it's just, we've obviously just had a train yet. Yeah, the train has just pulled up and dumped 30 odd tools in there. So let's get these replaced. So what replacement vehicles do we have for cargo? Uh, these are the Ben. So these are probably, yeah, an earlier version of this truck here. What, how fast do you guys go? 20? Maximum speed, 25. They are wholly in town, so we don't need them to be terribly fast. Oh, hang on, I've just spotted. We've got Bedfords. Yes, that is very much a British mark that I remember. Definitely. We could replace those. They carry oh, at least twice the capacity, and they go a bit faster. Well, quite a lot faster, actually. We'll replace you. Can I afford that? I can. And that actually should be sufficient for this line because it is only a short route there to the tools delivery that should be good okay where next then in my vehicle recovery seven beach oh, i haven't been to seven beach for ages in this game i don't think i've actually been there in what we call real life uh, at all not ever so this is a local bus service. Well, I think the town has grown a bit since then, hasn't it? What do we have down here? Let's have a look at our land usage. Oh, that's odd, isn't it? A, very much a mix of residential and industrial. I, I think this bus route could do with coming down here. Because that then connects up with the station. I think that will help. Ooh, that's a very big tower block there, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Right. Okay, so we want another bus stop. Buildings. Um, ooh. I will use a proper bus stop. We'll use a proper one. Ooh, I have put a new mod into the game, which allows me to put town signs up on the roads, and I may well do that at some point. But let's concentrate on our vehicles and our routes for the moment. So you're coming up from... We'll, we'll, Bring you in from, yeah, you'll be the new point three, I think. So we'll put you, where can we put you? We could put you here. Attempt, actually, let's put you alongside here. Yeah, we'll do that. And so we need to manage the line here, don't we? So from two, we'll add there, that's good. We've only got three vehicles here. This ver Seven Beach is very much a sort of end of the line kind of place. Uh, I don't want to do that. What I wanted to do was check Seven Beach itself. Yeah, we're not supplying any of the requirements in terms of cargo. And it's, a, it's, a, it's quite a good 
destinations uh, figure there through my public transport network. They can get to loads of places, mostly through Bristol Parkway and Bristol Temple Meads, to be honest, hence the chaos at those stations. Uh, so I, I think the three buses will still be okay. So what are you? You're a very old fashioned, what model are you? A post bus carrying eight people at 16 miles an hour. So what can we replace you with? The trouble is you guys are so cheap. This route, barely profitable. But, they, they, okay, I, that's okay, I think. No, we will not worry too much about that. It's, this is getting people to the bus station, really, isn't it? Oh, sorry, to the train station. Uh, that might be a good one. Yeah, the two shirt, that's kind of an enhanced version of what we've got there. Okay, we'll do that. That is lovely. That's you guys. Nailsy. Right, what I'm going to do is I will go through a number of these and sort them out. Uh, you know how all this works. And then we'll look at doing some exciting new uh, train line. Well, extending a train line. Okay, so I'll be back with you on the other side of this uh, sexy, well, I think it's sexy, video effect. See you soon. Well, I've now spent around $20 million on replacing quite a few vehicles in a number of towns. And I came to this one, which is going to be, um, I think it is the last uh, replacement I want to do before we get onto the, onto the new, tra on, well, onto the um, train extension. Yeah, I'm being a little bit more mysterious about that, perhaps. And I thought, oh, this is this just nicely demonstrates how a town has grown. Higgledy Piggledy, Midsummer Norton. We haven't been here for quite some time. And in fact, these buses are 50 years old. Yeah, so we've not been here for quite some time, but the town has grown. And this is, again, I think exemplifies why, if you've got a fairly large map, you may still want to keep and pay attention to, keep an eye on, that's what I was trying to say, keep an eye on and pay attention to the growth of all the towns you've got around, particularly if you're using in-town bus services or tram services for that matter. Now, there are a lot of people, well, there are quite a few people who say that these in-town bus services don't make any money. Oh, and this one doesn't. <laughs> Some of them do, quite a few of them do. If you can get it right, even the smallest in-town bus route can make money. In addition, obviously, to getting people to the train stations to earn you real money. Uh, but this, yeah, this one has made money, as you can see, in the past. It's just, um, I think the route really isn't serving us well enough here. So we need to expand it. I've already plopped down one new bus stop on that side of town. Uh, if we look at our land usage. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a nicely delineated area, by and large. Residential commercial around the station and industrial mostly down here but obviously a, a few bits scattered over there so i think we need another bus stop down here as well uh, don't scroll too far off the map where shall we put you which route you, you're going around this way we'll put you i think down i'm going to ignore <sighs> could i put a bit of road in there i could do actually that might help development around that. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, so we'll use a reasonably fast bit of road. Uh, 30 miles an hour, that will do nicely. It's not too expensive. Can I, uh, if I take you off there, what happens? I'm going to lose a building. That's 200 grand, but we're, we're making enough money. I think we can cope with that. Uh, if I take you, if I take you off there to start with, Oh, I can do that. That's a lot cheaper and I don't lose a building. Yep, let's do that. Let us do that. How is that? Is that the really slow road? It is 20 miles an hour. Can I make it faster? Gosh, a million, a million and a half to replace that. Okay, I'll upgrade the surface. It won't make it any faster, but it'll look a bit nicer. <laughs> so... I could, I can afford it, I think. We are, as I've said before, pretty much profitable anyway. But I'm not going to waste money I don't need to waste. Right, let's get that bus stop in there. Where shall we put you? Actually, we can put one in 
down here now, can't we? Actually, let's check our route again. I want to keep an eye on that so I know where we're going. The MSN circle. We may have to... Mm, we may lose West Road. We may lose that. Okay, so if I put a bus stop down here... Yep, let's do that. Uh, somewhere along here. Again, I'll, I'll spend the money to put them both sides of the road. So it gives me more options and I don't have to... I don't confuse myself later on when I start shifting the stops around. And what we might do as well is... To replace the one in West Road, we've got this one here, we've got that one, we've got North Road up there. We'll put another one in, I think, down here as well. I mean, it's still within the main industrial zone, but having bus stops closer to people where they want to be, where they're going, is always advantageous. There's more chance of you picking them up. Now, this route is going in that direction. You're going, oh, you're going in that direction, are you? Ooh, we're going to lose North Road. Okay, let's take West Road out. We're going from North Road. We, mm, maybe, I, no, let's go the other way entirely. Let, let's, yes, I know you've only got one stop. Stop complaining. I'll deal with you. See, this is why it was handy, putting both the stops on both sides of the road to start with. So we'll put you there. Uh, we'll, miss, we'll take you to there. Do we need to go back here to New Road? Uh, North Road? We don't really, do we? We could miss those stops out entirely. Or what I could do is after London Road go to West Road and North Road. Yeah, why not? Absolutely. Yes, yeah, we'll do that. That means everyone is still connected. That looks good to me. We'll still call it the MSN Circle. It is, it is vaguely circular around the town with this huge great parkland in the middle of it. And let's replace our buses. Uh, we'll change the colour of them as well. I like to keep the colour in line with the line colour. I do wish it was possible to tell when you went into the paint option which colour you had selected already. Um, it, it just makes it more difficult to match up the line and the vehicle colour in my, my view. Let's replace those. Um, we'll just replace you with the Tusha, as we've been doing with everything else pretty much. I think that's good. We may need to come back here at some point if I remember. That's the trick of course, particularly on these larger maps, is remembering where everything was. Okay, now before we get into sorting uh, out the the trains that I was dealing with there was one piece of actually this is in the same part of the world I was looking at one of the cargo vehicles I replaced in fact it was I did this earlier was this huge limp this was this my first cargo route the logs to the planks to the tools uh, where's the tools oh yeah you're down there well you are quite a way away aren't you? but you are connected nonetheless how old are you Oh my goodness, you are very old as well. Oh, well. Uh, how old are you exactly? You're only 31 years. Oops, don't do that. Don't, I keep zooming in randomly. Uh, you are making money. Yeah, good money. We could probably lose a vehicle. If I upgrade you, you've got none on. Okay, I'll sell you get pretty much nothing in return and let's manage those vehicles I had replaced the logs end of this uh, industry chain before you came back to join me so we'll do these we'll replace them with the Bedfords again uh, say so yes two million whether we need that many on this end of the route I don't know because the planks thing is a two for one Two, one plank out of two logs, so it's a slight, it's, again, see, you've got the unbalance, the in, imbalance is the correct English word that I want to use on there, so let's uh, have a look at this vehicle. Again, I just, just wanted to, to show it off because it is a lovely looking model. Look at that. 
That is so nice. Is that beeping his hooter? His horn? Again, it's not just the, the look of the model. It's the sound as well. I'm not quite sure why he's making that noise. Is that what Bedford sounded like? Oh, well, that's better. He's on the run. He's not. On, he's on the open road. He's more accurately. But just they're just such lovely models. Right. Okay. So where were we going to go? One of the routes I noticed was getting really old. Was this Somerset and Dorset line? Uh, Fifty years old. It's uh, it's not that profitable. Why is it not that profitable? Let's call the line up. Down here, Shepton Mallet. Midsummer Norton. Yeah, again, it's one of those routes because it is connecting up Twerton. That's very busy as well. To Canesham. Yeah, because it's connecting into Canesham, which then connects into Bristol and then into pretty much everywhere else on the map. It is busy only in one direction. So, I, yes, I'm disappointed at the profit figures on this line, to be honest. But can we improve the vehicle? So what have I actually got running on here at the moment? These are quite old trains. What are you? Yes, yeah, so we'll put a diesel or something on here. You go 75 miles an hour, mind. And you are, yeah, you're full half, well, half the time you're very full rest of the time you're not. What shall we replace them with though? This is going to cost me a bit but that's okay for the moment. Do we need to... how many... you've got a capacity of 80. I could. I don't really want to put because that is quite a long stretch isn't it? Between Wells and Shepton Mallet. Don't really want one of those slowish but then again 75 miles an hour yeah the uh, the multiple units go that fast as well that's a mediocre power rating okay let's have a look at that let's see I'm probably going to need to take out a lot more money though to deal with this so you are carrying at the moment uh, your capacity was 80 and your capacity is 45. That's a lot less. But these four car units, you carry 58. It's substantially less. Ugh. But how much do you cost to run? I need to make you bigger so I can actually read what it says. Whoops, don't drag it all the way over there. Just hit slide the Okay, so you're nearly a million to run each year. You guys cost me... Ooh! So the running cost of these diesels is pretty much half what we have on these. This could be a good decision. We might need to put another one on there. But that might work. So if I replace you with that, that is going to cost me... Oops. Oh, you're only going to cost me three million to, to to replace, which is actually a little bit more than I've got, but that's easily fixed. There you go. Let's do that. That is so nice. So trains, where are you? Are there trains? There are trains on this line. There's one. Nice. Well, I don't know. They should actually be. I was going to check their power ratings, but I know, probably all right. Though there are actually some slopes on this route. I'm just thinking we might need another one of these on this line. Could do that. Well, uh, they cost about five million each. Okay, let's try that. You're in the loco shed in Temple Meads. Coming out of there. Oh, and a proper old fashioned steam train. Big and powerful coming out of there. Where's our diesel? 
or you are so slow. Right, now he will eventually catch on and come into service. Now, in terms of the route I was planning to add in as the main thrust of this episode, although I have spent more time replacing stuff, was to connect in Highbridge. Why? Because the main line from Bristol Temple Mead, uh, Temple Meads rather, all the way up here, which goes through Western Supermare, goes through Highbridge. That's its next stop, I believe, as on its way down to the proper southwest, to Taunton, to Exeter, Plymouth, and all those stations down there in that there Cornwall. So we need to connect that up. And also then I could connect up this Somerset and Dorset railway, this line into Wells, into that into Highbridge as well. And that will then create a nice little loop uh, around from Bristol Temple Meads through Canesham, where, uh, Midsummer Norton, Wells, Shepton Mallet, all these places. That would be rather cool, I thought. So, where's our station here? We've got this here, which is a dual purpose. At the moment, the passenger line stops there. I'm thinking I could save a little bit of money by running it alongside the, pass the cargo on the same track there. But the thing is, the station in Highbridge, if I want it to serve both the line coming down here from the north. Oh, I need some more money. OK, let me run this on for a little bit longer and get some money back in the bank. And then we'll carry on with building our railway. And while I was waiting for the game to give me some money, just a, a few weeks, to be honest, it didn't take that long. I did a little bit of research very quickly and apparently the station is Highbridge and Burnham although it is mostly set within the town of Highbridge itself a small unmanned little station which uh, serves as a stop off point on that main express route down to the proper west country I think I was kind of tempted to put it in on the estuary side of the towns but I think it would work just as well on this side slightly more realistic I think but then again what do I know so let's put our station in we're going to make it a two ways a, a through station because it obviously is in real life but and I will be using it in that way I think yeah we'll, we'll have the wells line coming in and coming in through the bottom of it so I think if we put it up here somewhere that should do fine. We may need to fiddle with our roads again here. Oh, and it's nice that we're here in the commercial or industrial end of the town as well. So we're not affecting too many residents. And uh, let's... We'll do that. That's good. And uh, yeah, I put high speed, no catenary, 240. It's a reasonable size platform, to be honest. And we could probably get rid of some of these buildings because it is only a very small relatively small not very it is a it's a minor station is what i'm trying to say so if we get rid of some of these buildings we don't need all these and get a little bit of money back well, that's probably more than it actually has in reality perhaps I'll, I'll do some more research and see if i can find some real photographs of highbridge let's call it properly highbridge and burnham Burnham on Sea, as it were. Now, this uh, train line coming down for the Western Main Line, I think I will also have it sharing this track, I think, with the cargo line. Uh, very. Um, no, I won't. I won't. We won't do it that at all. Uh, so we want it to be track, will be high speed, but no catenary. Uh, could do, no, the parallel, parallel track works on the left. And I don't want it to do that because I'm going to be putting down the left hand side of the track, I think. I'll send you down here. Actually, what I could do, if I put you in there, and then you can, run off to there. Good. We'll have you running parallel for a while. Down to around about there I think. 
and then we will whoops what have I done no okay and bring you off there to come down on the other side of that oil refinery that's what I'm thinking and we will get rid of that road because that will be in the way have I got room there I think I have well, we're gonna find out in a moment Where's my track? Oh, I haven't put it in yet. There you go, down there. Oh, I can just squeeze it in. Though I dare say I may have to move the road if I want to upgrade it to a proper A road, i.e. with tarmac and stuff. Right, let's get rid of this uh, road in the way. Um, we're not using any road at all there for that fuel line. Oh, we don't need that. No, nah, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll leave that out. We don't need to put that back in. If we do, we'll put it in on this uh, southern side. Okay, put you in there. There we go. We'll bring you. Ooh. <laughs> Could I sneak you in that little gap? Oh, that's that's a very bad thing to... Oh, I can just... You're on the wrong side, though. I've got the other side in there. Can I get you in there like that? That gives me a much more direct route through to the train station. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Just so I don't need to pay to remove that building. Oh, I dare say the occupants of that building may want to move out fairly quickly once this line comes into main use. Yeah. There we go. Down there. That is good. And there we are. And that will complete, as far as I can go, our Great Western Line West Country route from... Well, it would come from London all the way down to Exeter and Plymouth and all those places down there. But for here, it's going to come from Bath through to Highbridge, I think. Will I, will I want to actually do a proper through route, though? Because, yeah, Bristol Temple Meads, they can't go through Temple Meads. No, they can't. So the, temp, the Bristol to Western and Highbridge line is still going to be separate to the Bath to Bristol line. It's a bit of a shame. Okay, right. You need to put a crossover in here. Uh, we'll put you in like, actually, what we'll do, we'll have our trains, they're coming down on that side. Yeah, we'll have them go straight into the platform there. So we just need a bit of track coming out this way so they can go back on the right side. How fast can I make you? 75? That looks good. Okay, and some signalling. Uh, where's my favourite three stage signal? Or three aspect, as the experts call it. There we go. Uh, we'll put one there just for the sake of argument. Uh, can I auto signal this up the line? from here. Will you auto signal from there? Oh, you do. Oh, they're not one. Oh, you. It, I always do this. They're not one way. Okay, I'll go back and fix that. Ah, oh, dear. How embarrassing. <laughs> um, do I want them? We will put a crossover in here, I think. Do I want a crossover? No, it's going to be a through route. It's going to be a very long through route. Definitely. Yes, it will. It will. Okay, so they're one way now. Uh, why is it not giving me the... Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's doing it properly. It's giving me the auto signal option. Uh, so if we put you uh, down there. That's good. That will do nicely. Now, our route then which goes from Bristol Temple Mead. This is the Bristol Western Express. Where, there, 
that's quite old. And as you can see, it is profitable. So we will put some proper fast trains on there. I'm not sure if we're going to have any just yet in the, in the middle of 1969. But we shall see. Uh, we don't want to manage the vehicles. We want to manage the line. So we are going from Western Supermare to... I've lost High Bridge. <laughs> oh, there it is. All the way down there. That's, and then back to Western. Supermare. Then you can carry on back to Nailsy. Excellent. You're doing that properly. And you are going to the correct platform. You are, of course. Well done, you. That is lovely. We want some buses here. Okay, again, I'll take a brief pause because we'll want to put buses along here as well to Burnham because buses do serve Burnham from the station. I did that. I know that from the little bit of research I did. Now the trains on our new extended Western Express line. What are we going to do with you? What vehicles do we have? It's going to be diesel. And we have the D414 War Spite. Actually, how fast can you go at the moment, you guys? hundred and you're carrying 63 is that all okay you go 99 you go 95 but you are more powerful therefore that bit more expensive what else do we have here with diesel 94 you're an ugly looking beast really aren't you <laughs> 75 94 I'm, I'm thinking then, this uh, 50014 in the original BR Blue livery with the front jumper cables. I love the amount of research and detail that the modders go into when they're creating these, these assets for us. Uh, you're more powerful. Okay, let's... which one should we use? We'll use the BR Blue. We'll take you. And this is the okay. I'm going to need a lot of money. Let's take out the whole loan. I'll be back with you once I've clicked all this borrow button 100 million times. Well, we've now uh, maxed out our 100 million dollar loan, uh, so we should be able to afford a couple of these. <laughs> Hopefully, passenger wagons. What are we got? The Mark 2A, you can go 100, 130. That's too fast. 130, as is that. 87, a little on the slow side, but the Iron Heights wagon is a nice cost relatively cost effective unit the mark one br coaches you oh actually your although your capacity is four less which means you're a much more affordable unit uh, we're going br blue aren't we so will you match Uh, 
and I can replace all three of these for 51. That gives me an 84 capacity. So how much did I say these were carrying? 63. Oh, yes. And it's a good performance. What have you got in terms of performance? You're mediocre. Oh, yes. So this could be a proper express service. Could I put another one of these on? I could. 105 capacity, 95 miles an hour, so it's a little bit slower, but it will probably, for most of its journey, be travelling faster than the old steam loco could, because it should get to that top speed faster. Let's do this. And it's done. It is done. So where is this train? You're going into Nailsy. You're going in the wrong direction, my friend. Well, then, no, you're not, because you are going in the busy direction towards Bristol. So let's see how the Hague Express... I will, again, rename this line from Bristol Western, because it now goes beyond Western, all the way to Highbridge. It's full of 105 people. Look at that. Again, a lovely looking model. Great sound. Oh, and you the check seats inside the driver's cabin as well. I love it. This is where we're going to leave this episode, I think, with the final extension to our main line. Bath, Bristol, Western to Highbridge and Burnham. I might want to put some electric signals on here. How far? It's going 56 miles an hour. It needs to go faster than that. I'm sure it will at some point. Oh, look at this traffic! Good God! Where the... Wow! <laughs> I think this train service is very much needed. We may even put another loco on that line, because it's a very long line now. If we call you up. But let's take all the gubbins off the map. Uh, where's the Bristol Western line? Are you going to... There's the line. Yes, yeah, so it comes in... Oh, no, it's not that long. I keep, I keep thinking it goes to Bath like it does in real life, but it doesn't. It's just Bristol down to Highbridge and Burnham. So, it is still quite a long line, though, so we might need another train on there. But nonetheless... This should work very nicely for us. And hopefully alleviate some of the traffic congestion we have on these roads that we just saw. So, oh, 94 miles an hour. You can hear the sound of it racing through the countryside as it comes to a stop here in Bedminster. This is beautiful. I'm going to leave you with this. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Transport Fever 2. If you've enjoyed this, please let me know. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbs up button. Even better though, if you've got anything to say, hints, tips, recommendations, suggestions, criticisms, corrections of my historical inaccuracies, please do let me know by dropping a note into the comments below. It would be awesome to hear from you. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you can do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2, until the next time, bye-bye for now.